Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on stability analysis and focus rate. In this video, we are going to determine what is the range of K for system to be stable. We are also going to determine what is the value of K for system to be marginally stable. Let us first understand what is the given characteristic equation. S raised to 4 plus 25 S cube plus 15 S square plus 20 S plus K is equal to 0. Now what is the first step? First step is the formation of root array. So for that we have to select the coefficients for this given equation. That is coefficient of S for this given equation. So how to take coefficients? So I will make here one graph that is first row coefficient and second row coefficient. Now for the first row coefficient, we have to take the first number that is s raised to 4. So here coefficient is 1. So I will write s raised to 4. Then for second, that is second row coefficient, we have to take the second number that is plus 25 s cube. So for this second row coefficient, I will write here the numbers with the help of red marker and first row I will write with the help of black marker. Then next number is 15 s square plus 20s plus k. So here plus 20s plus last one is k. Now from that we will observe we have to take first row coefficients that is the coefficient of first number then third number and then fifth number that is alternate numbers we have to select. So I will take here 115 k. 115 k. Now for next we have to take for second row 25 and 20 that is alternate numbers 25 and 20. Now we will move for the calculations. So for the next row we have to take the calculation. So how to calculate this? So I will show with the help of arrow. 25 multiplied by 15 minus 20 multiplied by 1 divided by 25. So I will write here 25 multiplied by 15 minus 25, uh, 20 into 1 that is 20 divided by 25. So if we solve this, we will get the answer 355 divided by 25. So again we will simplify this with 71 by 5. Now for the next element, again we have to calculate. So 25 into k. Here we will consider 0 minus 1 into 0 divided by 25. So I will write 25k minus 0. So I will show here divided by 25. So this 25, 25 is getting cancelled. So what is remaining here? Only k. Now again we will select the numbers in front of row s raised to 1. So we have to repeat the same procedure. But we have to select the numbers or those uh, above if so that is above s raised to 1 there are the two rows that is s cube and s square. So we have to select these numbers. So I will rewrite here 25, 20, 0, 71 by 5 and k. And here we will consider 0. Now how to calculate this? So I will take here 71 by 5 into 20 minus 25 into k divided by 71 by 5. So I will write here 71 by 5 into k minus 25k. So here 71 by 5 into 20 minus 25k divided by 71 by 5. Then next here is 0. So there is no any number. So I will take here 0. So again we have to calculate this rows in the rows in front of this s raised to 0. So how to calculate this? So again we have to select the numbers. That is above s raised to 0 there are 2 rows that is for s square and s raised to 1. So I will select this number 71 by 5 then next element is k then here this element that is 71 by 5 into 20 minus 25k divided by 71 by 5 and here is 0. So again we will make here cross multiplication. So we have to cross this and we have to select this. So we, if we observe and again we have to divide by this. Now if we observe, if I multiply these two numbers, that is 71 by 5 into 20 minus 25k divided by 71 by 5 multiplied by k. And again we have to divide by this number. 
So this numerator and denominator is same. So here only answer is K. So we have to write this. So here is the formation of root array. Now we will first determine the range of K for system to be stable. So how to determine this range of K? There is the condition that the for after formation of root array, the values from the first column should have same sign. So suppose there is no any change in sign, then system is stable. Now we will rewrite this. That is, we will rewrite all the values from the first column. So here s raised to 4, s cube, s square, s raised to 1, s raised to 0. So what are the values? That is 125, then 71 by 5. And here we will solve this. That is 284 minus 25k uh, divided by 71 by 5. And next value is k. Now if we observe, there should be no any sign change. That means all the values should have same sign. Either negative sign or either positive sign. But if you if we observe for this first three elements there is positive sign. So for the system to be stable, the remaining value should also positive. So here we have to maintain the positive sign. So how we can maintain this positive sign? That means we have to take the value of k in such a way that the all the value of the solution of this equation. All the values should be positive. That answer should be positive. So, how I can write this? I will write this 284 minus 25k divided by 71 by 5 is greater than 0. Now, I will transfer the 71 by 5 to the right hand side. So, it will become 0. Therefore, 284 minus 25k is greater than 0. Now again we will simplify this. I will transfer this 25k to the right hand side. So it will become therefore 284 is greater than 25k. So here if I transfer this 25 to the denominator therefore here 11.36 is greater than k. So this is the value of k that we have to maintain. So k should be greater than 11.36. Then only the value for this equation is greater than 0. That means positive sign is getting maintained. Now if we again move for the next. Again here k is there. So here also we have to maintain k is greater than 0. So from the next uh, row element that is k. We can say that k should be greater than 0. So these two conditions are important. So when these two conditions are getting satisfied, then this uh, all the elements in the first column will have the same positive sign and system will become stable. So what is the range of k? So how we can decide? So k should be less than. Now here we can say that how we can read this? 11.36 is greater than k. That means if I take k, then k is less than 11.36. So both have same meaning. And here k is greater than 0. That means 0 should less than k. So if this range is getting maintained, then system is to be, we can say system is to be stable. So this is the answer of first question. Now we will move for the next question. We will determine the value of k for system to be marginally stable. So to determine the system to be marginally stable, we know that there is the formation of auxiliary equation and there is the formation of row in which all the elements are zero. So if we observe here, this root array, then we have to maintain one row in which all the elements should be zero. Now if we observe, we have to maintain here the value of k in such a way that here the answer is equal to zero. So here is the range that k is in between zero and 11.36 for all the signs should be for all the signs to be positive. So here if I take k is equal to 11.36 then 
the value for this equation will become zero. So we can say that the row in front of S raised to one, all the elements are zero. Then we will select the row in front of S square and we will form the auxiliary equation. So how to form the auxiliary equation? So we will consider this row because this row is having all the elements are zero. So we have to select the row above D. Seventy one point seventy one by five S square plus K is equal to zero. So this is the auxiliary equation. So I will write this auxiliary equation. Seventy one by five S square plus K is equal to zero. And why this auxiliary equation is formed? Because we have taken value of k is equal to eleven point thirty six. So I will select here value of k that is eleven point thirty six. Square plus eleven point thirty six is equal to zero. Now we will solve this. So if I transfer eleven point thirty six to the right hand side, then it will become minus. I will transfer this. Seventy one by five also. So S square is equal to minus eleven point thirty six multiplied by five divided by seventy one. Now we have to find out the root. So for that we will take the square root on both the sides. So what about this root minus one? So we know that this root minus one is nothing but z. So we have to take this z. So what is the answer for this? So suppose if I take the square root for eleven point thirty six into five by seventy one, then it will become zero point eight nine four. And root of s square is s. So if I take square root on both sides, then here the value will be plus minus. And square root of minus one is nothing but z. So I will write here z. So what is the answer? That is s is equal to plus minus zero point eight nine four z. So this this is the roots that we have found. Now we will plot these roots on s plane. So how to plot? Now I will plot here s plane. So we know that s plane contains one axis that is real and other axis that is imaginary. So real axis is here, that is sigma, and imaginary axis is nothing but j omega. So this s is nothing but we can say j omega is equal to plus minus zero point eight nine four j. So this j j is getting cancelled, so omega is equal to zero point eight nine four rad per second. So here this is the answer, but how system is marginally stable that we will understand. Now, this number is the complex number. Or we can say we have to plot this root on the imaginary axis. So when the roots lie on the imaginary axis, then we can say that system is marginally stable. So why we are going to plot these roots on imaginary axis? Because here there is the this value is in terms of z. So plus zero point. Eight nine four z. So plus means we have to take above this original line plus zero point eight nine four z. And next root we have to take minus zero point eight nine four z. So these two roots are lies on the imaginary axis, and we can say that the system is marginally stable. And this is possible only when the value of k is equal to eleven point thirty six. So this is the answer of second question.